so low. That's pretty. Okay, there it goes. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing Crash 3. And uh, last time we beat the game. So, of course, that means there's a lot left to do to beat the game. <laughs> the first thing I want to do is check out this hub thing that I've opened up at some point in history. Where we see that all the people are not people. So, all those murders committed in the past are not murders. Uh, oh, is that another plane level? Oh, there's no pink diamonds though. That's interesting. Which makes sense, but there is a diamond that you need to get. Is this is this really gonna be what is today? Sky craze. Well, there's lava. Oh, uh, close. So you get oh you get a time thing opened up right at the start. That's interesting. Um, okay, no here there's yeah there's fruit, but I mean this is going to be slow, I'm going to complain, but then I'm going to beat it, and then I'm going to do the race, and it's going to be fun. So like, that's just how it needs to be. A hundred crates? I hope there's like, a lot of nitro, and you just hit a switch. Because, uh, the music does not fit the atmosphere here. Like, you've got this sort of like, fun time, good time, but the water looks like lava. Well, there is an open volcano right there. Active, it's not called, it's active, not open. It's an open source volcano right there. An active development. Disgusting. Alright, so one tenth of the way there already. Hey, that's pretty good. Just gotta go right between the bombs. I say obvious things. Hey, sweet one up there. Alright, well, I mean, if there's not too many open waters moment, maybe things can be good in life. That's how it works. That's my metric. All right, we got the scary. I don't. I didn't add an explanation yet. Why does that weird haunted reveal stinger sound? Is it just what it does when you get the seat? Like I've never really understood that, but it's fine. All right, so here we can switch to the other one and go like, hey, oh, there's a lot of moms there hanging out. Well, I missed them all, so it's all good. 20 out of 100, there you go, we can call that one-fifth of the rocks, if they were rocks, they're not though, we're hunting down our rock and roll, and the open sea is, uh, uh, right over that bomb, uh, has, has, ha, ha, sounds are coming out of my mouth, I do not understand them, I do not comprehend them, oh shoot, so there is nitro, okay, that's a scary show to put on a flying xylophone, you probably shouldn't do that. It's probably impossible to do that, I'd go as far as to say. All right. Yeah, okay. It just barely feels like I just barely survived there. Gonna spin around, turn around, and hit a box one day. Where is it? Um, was there not a box there at some point in history? Did I hit it by accident? I'm going to assume as such as this point because, uh, disappeared. I guess I could destroy myself upon a bomb and uh, reap the results, but that seems to be a little over aggro for no reason. Okay, so we're somewhere and somewhere. Can't ask for better than that. That's my summary review, where I review other people's summaries. Um, like, there might be something beyond that island over there. Just, yeah, this is an open area. I feel like I need to make sure. No, it's just a big open spot. For fun. Nothing says fun like open. Let's go. Yep. That was gonna happen eventually. That was an inevitability. Oh yeah, and I'm here where I wasn't sure if I had popped the, the crate. So I did. There it is. Not continent, though. Not the continent, either. I miss the thing. How did I manage to do that? I mean, I'm glad I missed a green thing. But I want to hit the red thing. I did not. This is my story. Yeah, there we go. And the bombs are moving. And I landed on a bomb. I did! Ugh, video games. Uh, here, you gotta, you gotta do it twice, so... Okay. They know what they're doing, kinda. That's, you know what? I'm surprised I lived through that, and I'm glad I did, though. It's a happy surprise. We did it. Alright, yeah, gotta go in between the nitros. Oosh. 
video games. Here's just a big old cluster of bombs. So, like, I don't see how you do this without just doing this real slow. Like, to the point of parody. I'm halfway through, not counting... Actually, yeah, Nitro, and assuming I didn't miss any. Okay, so, you gotta go in the middle. Like, it's kinda neat that they're using Nitro obstacles this way. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it again. Yup. Heck yeah. Uh, don't touch the big cartoon. Yeah. I you can't break. Unless there is a break button that I never noticed. No, that's... How did I die last time? There. I approached and the bomb was going the same way I was. By doing this now, I feel like that. How do you move? Also, I died right before a checkpoint. Sweet. Alright, see, this is pretty straightforward. Although, now I'm afraid for the bomb race, honestly. Well, maybe it's gonna be nice and generous. So do you want to jump up here? Good question. Oh, I got both. Wow, okay. Yeah, that worked. No one knows what's happening. Uh, oh shoot. Okay, so I noticed the uh, you need to like jump up to hit that ring switch. Yeah, there we go. Destroy the world here a little bit. That's what we want to see. Oh, what? How do you get those? Okay, you can just barely go in between like this. Oh, that is scary. Alright, scary but doable. Alright, four crates left somewhere in the universe. Like right here, beside the, the ramp. It's like you don't want to ramp. This one like, eh. Eh. Did it. Extreme video games. Yeah, those are the last two, just kind of there. This ends in a very strange way. I feel like I just kind of odiously misunderstood the way the level is supposed to go. But I guess that works. Alright, I mean, I like the change of uh, atmosphere, if anything. Alright, gotta go away so that I can go back away. Alright, now we're gonna play it for real. Yeah, a minute and a quarter. Uh, more importantly, like, you don't get check marks either. So it might be just a uh, go generally fast and just, uh, don't die. Maybe. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. I kinda already forgot how the start happens. Uh, good time. Uh... Yeah, like, look at that, like, this is some narrow shenanigans. So, getting at the donuts might be- What? That counts? Hasn't okay, so I should have just went there and did the detour for the jumps. Would have been relevant. Uh, oh, there's a there's a root of egg I missed that also would have been very relevant. Like getting an extra hit. Yeah, no, I would have been a big fan of that. But I get one here, so it's all good. Uh, just be careful as we go through the world, going fast above the waves. Don't know what I ate for days. Uh, it's a strange sentence when you think 
about it. Uh, well, okay, I was certain that I was in the proper time space to make that bomb explode. I guess I missed that rack of donuts, though, which might be bad. Well, I missed those times. I mean, we're getting there. Like, there's honestly not that much left. That doesn't you can just kind of turn early. Whoa, jeez. Well, okay, I got one of the threes. It's all good. Here we go. Bouncing all around the world. Yeah, I remember this part worrying me. Turns out the solution was have a hit. <laughs> Always a good solution. All right, I missed those times, but you know I'm gonna get this number here. I miss that number there. You know what? We don't need no numbers. All right, I even made that happen. That's pretty rad. Always makes things explode if you can help it. So I guess here, if you just kind of just do big jumps all day long, yeah, you lay on that three. You know what? That doesn't matter. And did I get the thing? Yeah, well, yeah, at least I got the blue. That took a lot less time than I thought. Like, this was my first real shot, uh, other than when I got sunk. So, as I thought, this is exactly as I predicted. Uh, crate run was a bit tedious. But once you get to actually play the level, like, it's actually genuinely a lot of fun. Like, I have to realize that the way this game was designed was that you're not supposed to be so systematic about it. Like, you're expected to just kind of poke at it from now and then and do whatever when you feel comfortable. Game time. Requires 10 to enter? Oh! Well, all right then. So, where can I see how many I have? I don't know. So, okay. Well then, so I'm gonna have to get more. Well, I have a little bit of time. So, let's go back to World 1, maybe, and poke around. Uh, uh, I guess that would make sense. Like, you know, you gotta you got, you got pay to play. Alright, well... Let's see here. What have I not done in terms of run? Yeah, I did you. I did you. I did not do you, so I could do that. That's a Coco level. This was a regular level. You know what? This is the title level. Let's just go ahead and like, I, I mean, might as well, you know what? Yeah, might as well. I don't remember this course at all, but I didn't bother to get the Ung, so let's go for it. People have been asking about the Gold Ung, and I don't know if I want to do them. Like, I'm excited about the Blue Ung because they do something, and they're acknowledged by the game, but apparently the the Gold Ungs, like, just, they don't do anything. They add a percentage, which is pretty good. Like, percentages are pretty fun, but, uh... You just can't go to the market and exchange them for delicious watermelons, and that is how I value everything in the universe. Man, playing this early level with the guy with the paddle boat. Remember that guy? He's a classic. A Crash Bandicoot victory speech right there for you and me. There we go. Hey, Seagull, he's there. Flapping his wing in our studio. Remembering the good times, yo! I've completely forgotten this level, but while I play this level, I realize there's not a whole lot to remember about it, sadly. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but I mean, this is like intro to the concept, so I guess that would make sense. You know, it's just, hey, we put this water engine on it with like simulated waves and everything. Uh, Aku Aku, why are you not grabbing any of the boxes? Like, that would help me out quite a bit, you know? S while you're, like, stretched out way over to the side, uh, he likes to keep his distance. Yeah, that's right, going right into Skull Mountain! Hey, I got a blue, man. It's all I want. You know what? Let's do the other Coco level here. Oh, uh, well, the CCO stands for Coco. Which is the one-to-one, -one, man, and no one else. Congratulations. Yeah, let's do uh, the tiger level. And uh, that'll leave the two platform levels to look around at. 
Look at that. Uh, we see the gold standards now. It's pretty fun. All right, what's the other? Is this here? Yes. Yeah, it's the... Oh, I'm gonna go in. There we go. I had to press the button to jump in. I thought you just walked in. Did I just never notice? Did I forget? Everything is possible in the realm of the dead. So, I think I'm gonna have to remember that I do have a dash action with, uh, I think his name is like, Ura? Like, look at that, look at that. Just pressing that dash button and I'm just out of control. Here we go. That's how we wanna play this. Uh, am I sure about this? Wow, you go fast. Well, I probably should have gone Kauka. Probably, you know what? Yeah, it would probably be a good idea. <laughs> I'm just jamming through. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty scary. I'm missing the masks. I'm all like, where's the mask? That's, this is what, oh. Well, that looks pretty. <laughs> all right, that's pretty good. I'm just going too fast. Oh, shoot, what? Dude, I was so happy and I finally, ew, you know what? <sighs> so does the mask, work? No? Really? Whoa! What happened there? A lot of physics. Yeah, that was... I did. How does that keep happening? Outrun the dragons. Dude, I'm... Um, why are you so fragile? Hurry up. I just no. Uh, okay, I'm still alive. I was taken by surprise by jumping on top of the wall like that on my own. All right, I don't know what time I'm supposed to get, but I got too bad to not get anything. Really? Okay, there we go. Like I was wondering about that. Uh, you just get it when you go inside the portal. Like I was just, I was just like, wait, where? Where's everything? But it turns out that, no, it's fine. Uh, it just gave me a bit of a surprise. I was just kind of like, there's just nothing. Like, I was sprinting the whole thing. How much faster can... Oh, I just destroyed the time. All right, but still, like, two seconds short of gold time. And I was sprinting everywhere. So it'd be a matter of being better with getting time boxes, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get a gold nox, honestly. Like, obviously, I'm going to get the blue ones. But uh, I don't know about a gold ones, speaking perfectly honestly.